Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Dead Voice McGee again. I, um, I kind of went into a very intense session, so I didn't really have anything planned for the time being. So, compilation! I avoided doing the disclaimers before because I just thought maybe it was something I didn't have to do anymore. But, yes, to clarify, these are all videos that I've done with previous Tumblr videos condensed into one binging package for people who do not like ads too much. So, yeah. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. I'm gonna go get some tea. Yay! So, uh, Tumblr, um, how do I ask a boy out? I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. Guess what? My bed has room for two. Oh my god, no! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, we can do it in a car. Stop it! Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 I can make you scream. I feel like the last one is verging dangerously into serial killer territory. Go one more, one more, one more. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. Do he got the booty? Oh, you do. The same rules can be applied to women or whatever gender you're attracted to. Go follow your dreams. Go get the booty, okay? Bye-bye. If you are not making this in body, then what's the point? Fuck you. Use the left leg of meat from pig from one of three farms in this specific area of Tuscany. Or from this day, my grandmother will begin manifesting physically in your house. Buy these three cans of stuff and put them in the pan. Congrats, you cooked. Season it with a pinch of this and some of that. You want to know the exact amount. Feel it in your heart. Ask the stars. Yell into the void. Boil it and salt it. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. You followed all the right steps, but this isn't quite right. I don't know what to tell you. Chuck it on the Bobby. You will never make it better than your abuela. Face the facts. Spend eight days laboring over the stove. The food will be flavorful with the sacrifice of your sanity. No one will appreciate it. It either needs more bacon, more maple syrup, more gravy, or an unholy combination of the three. You have to touch the dough. Feel the pierogi in your heart. Touch it! Eat it! Smell it! For God's sakes, I just want my potatoes and cheese! The fact that we can accidentally bite the inside of our cheeks has to be the biggest design flaw of the human body. No, 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 let, let me stop your shower thoughts right there. No, sorry, it's the fact that artrichia and esophagus cross and briefly occupy the same hole. Dolphins don't have this problem, and look how happy those little fuckers are. We only get one set of adult teeth that are designed to last maybe half our expected lifespan. Cause God forbid of how much shit we put in our mouths. And our lower backs are structurally fucked from making a shitty transition to being bipeds. Fucking intelligent design, my ass. But at the very least, we're not horses. In conclusion, the humans were extremely angry until they saw the horse and then thought, well, that bastard's got it rough. This ain't so bad. Meanwhile, the horse is like, How dare you say this shit about me? I am a goddamn horse. You may look larger in our eyes, but I know damn well I can stomp you to death if I wanted to. Now leave us alone and stop making cartoons of us that are either extremely colorful or extremely depressed. I'm sure that's what they want to say. But it is a damn shame we only hear it as... <laughs> so... There's only one channel in this motel. This morning while I was getting ready, I was watching Sesame Street. They were doing this bit where some clown was trying to wash his hands, but kept washing his feet or his elbows, and Elmo would go, No, Mr. Noodle, your hands! And all the TV kids would laugh and laugh and laugh. Around the fourth or fifth time he couldn't find his hands, I heard a grown man yell from somewhere else in the motel, God damn it, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> Honestly, I probably would be that guy shouting at Mr. Noodle for not washing his hands properly. Hygiene is important, and especially hotels, because I don't know what goes on in hotels, and more importantly, every time at a hotel, it's for a convention. And oh my god, people need to wash their hands at conventions. Oh my god. I'll do the Elmo voice everywhere and be like, Wash your damn hands, you crazy people! Elmo's gonna have to fuck up his
that's it! I don't know if this one fully counts as a it came from Tumblr thing, but I thought it was a fun fact to share in case anybody else wants to try this for character creation. But here we go. Is there anything fun you do to get into character for certain roles? I like to think it is. For a lot of recurring characters, I've assigned specific songs to help me flip the switch. For example, Travis's trigger song was No Diggity by Blackstreet during the early My Street seasons. But with the introductions of, let's call him Dark Eyes Travis because I don't want to reveal too much information, I use Losing My Mind by Mystery Skulls to help with the duality of the two roles. There is something about that song that's really good about flipping the switch between Travis and D.E. Travis. I actually immediately listened to that song right before I did the full argument between the two in the uh, episode where Travis makes the deal. Let's talk about Budo. Budo Matsuda's was the original Dragon Ball opening, as you probably have seen in a couple of videos that I did with him. It was a goof, but that's genuinely what I used to get into character for Budo Matsuda, because I was thinking, all right, old 90s anime character sort of dialogue. What's the one series that I know that is all about martial arts so over the top and so beautiful for Budo? And lo and behold, this is the original Dragon Ball opening. It's so good. And this one, I don't know if I should feel proud or feel ashamed. Probably both. Commander Torx was for some odd reason. Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> I don't know why. But for some reason, hearing Torque's backstory when we first started doing the game, I immediately thought of this song, and it worked. Get through the opening sequence, and BOOM! Commander Torque was ready. Now please don't use that as theorizing that his former captain is his dad, that information's not out there, and I'm curious now if somebody's gonna do something with Black Parade. But there's your, uh, there's your fun Snapple fact for the day. I use songs to get into character. Now you know. Knowing's half the battle. Okay, bye! This is more of a combo from r slash that totally happened, and it came from Tumblr. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, weirdly, this exact situation has happened to me. It was summer, so I was sleeping naked. But then I heard the lock on the front door being opened. I thought someone was breaking into my house, and I had enough time to either grab my sword or my nightgown, not both. Two things I learned. One, sometimes apartment complexes will flat out forget to tell you they're sending someone over from the fire department to check your fire extinguishers. Two, no matter how badass a person thinks they are, a naked person swinging a sword at them will knock them off balance both physically and mentally. However, the fireman was very nice about it and accepted my apology. Totally happened. Didn't think it could get any better. Yeah, here we are. Now I've thrown him off his rhythm. <laughs> Look at Jeff Mulaney quote at the bottom. <laughs> when pickup lines go wrong. Hey girl, my dick has a lot in common with the sun. Nobody likes looking directly at it. It gives people cancer? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It rises at the crack of dawn? It disappears at night. Direct exposure often leads to a nasty case of sunburn. It needs to stay approximately 92,960,000 miles away from me. Nobody will ever touch it. <laughs> Guys, I just came here to have a good time and do some fun pickup lines and involve my dingus dingus. And I feel so attacked right now. And now, when pickup lines go absolutely right. Are you the SAT? Because I'd do you for three hours and 45 minutes. With a 10 minute break halfway through for snacks. That's the most reasonable pickup line I've ever heard. Fuck it, you're hired. Tell you right now, you find somebody out there who uses that kind of line on you, and they are a fucking keeper. <sighs> if I was a student at Hogwarts, I'd use howlers to send nice messages to people. So you'd be sitting there in the great hall eating breakfast when an owl drops a howler in front of you. You and everyone else on your table just stares at it as it trembles, explodes open, shrieks, I want to touch your butt, and then dissolves into flames. I'm so done. Oh my God, can you imagine some of the other messages you can send? Hey, you! 
Swingity Swooty! Finish the rest of it! I may be a Hufflepuff, but allow me to slither in. Hey you, Akio, your digits, boy! Or my personal favorites. How do I eggplant emoji a howler? I'm kidding. It would be more wholesome. It would be, your feelings are valid and I appreciate your existence! Tumblr, give me a heartwarming Christmas movie about Satan traveling around the world every Christmas to deliver presents to all the young kids with learning disorders and disabilities who misspell Santa on their Christmas letters every year. And Santa's all like, you know, I can handle a few spelling mistakes, I got this. And Lucifer is all like, they addressed it to me, fuck off, I'm doing it. Lucifer being protective of his fan mail is ceaselessly entertaining. Hey, big guy, I need your list because I don't know what these kids want for Christmas and you've got all the info. This isn't your holiday. Yeah, well James here doesn't fucking know that, so give me the list. He asked for Satan. Well, he'll be absolutely terrified if he sees you and not me. Come on, big guy, let's be honest here. It's the middle of the night, we're big, we're red, you won't be able to tell the difference. And the kid's smart enough to know to not use a flashlight in the middle of the night. He'll wake up his sister, she'll start crying, the whole house will be a mess. Listen, I got this. Just give me the list. All right, fine. I gotta cut back on my chocolate chip cookies anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. The chocolate thing was my idea. It kind of backfired. Behold, a rare photo of a single mother tending to her triplets going through their rebellious phase. Oh, oh listen carefully. Die, die, die. Aw, oh, such precious little pineapples. So what would your evil alter ego be? A.M. Seymour. He does instructional audio on gun care and thinks racist jokes are hilarious. Bring down the fictional evil one. What do you see in the mirror of Irised? Emotional stability! <laughs> you wanted a normal ask? Too bad. Waluigi time! Wah. <sighs> Trying to accept the fact that Fallout 76 was made for people who grew up with Club Penguin. And you know it's true. Hey, it only takes 10 minutes to smile, but 45 to frown. Maybe I like getting some face gains, Greg. I want to open up my own line of dictionaries, and when you look up the term dictionary, it just says, are you kidding me? Things to remember when you have anxiety. The people you care about do like you. Your brain is just rude to you. You're good at your craft. Your brain is your worst critic. Don't give up on yourself. Life is always unexpected, and your journey is not over. And if all else fails, you can just picture all the bad voices as really obnoxious soccer moms. That seems to work too. <laughs> <laughs>